Uh, welcome back, everybody, to the No Morning Show on TTT. Remember, we are also on Talk City 91.1 FM and on Facebook at TTT Live Online. So, Nihus NASA internship. Six students from Trinidad and Tobago have been accepted to attend the summer 2019 term. I, when we started this show, we, we did speak with a couple of those who would have attended, and it seemed to be a fantastic initiative. And I'm really happy to have with us this morning Tevin Achong Tevin and... Um, Gabriel Motilal. Nice to be Thank here. Thank you very much for joining us this morning. Let's nice let's find here. out first about um, you and mm -hmm. you know how you went about getting through to do this, uh, Gabriel. Oh, it was a long process actually, but it was really simple. Once you know what you're doing, you go online to nihus.gov.tt. Once you go there, you go under internship. And when you do that, there are some forms to fill out. You submit it, and that's it. You go to three rounds. Of and and you are yeah. a budding physicist. That's right. Uh, tell Proud me about physicist. that. It's really interesting. Physics is really interesting. It explains how the world works. So yes. Mm -hmm. uh, how yeah. did you get involved in physics? Mm -hmm. How did you fall in love with astronomy. physics? Astronomy. I really, really love astronomy. And in Trinidad and Tobago, the only way to get to astronomy is to do a physics degree first. And you so did your yes. physics degree? Where did you do your physics degree? I am still doing it. I'm on my final year at the University of the West Indies, St. Augustine campus. And, and how do you think mm -hmm. heading to um, NASA would help you? With your mm. It will give me experience in research, which is important for every physicist, for every scientist. Isn't that right? Uh, you, you sound so excited. <laughs> she, she, she's so soft-spoken, but yeah. it sounds exciting. Tevin, um, you are in computer science. Yes, uh, correct. How, how did you get involved in that? Uh, for me, personally, uh, after I wrote the uh, CSEC examinations, I wasn't exactly 100% sure what I wanted to do. Mm. So I did a certificate in applied engineering. Turns out that mechanical engineering was not for me. So <laughs> I pursued my diploma in software engineering. And during that program, I fell in love with computer science. And well, the rest is history. And then you decided to apply for this NASA internship? Yeah, well, uh, while I was doing my diploma, actually, was the first time I read about the NASA internship. So it was, it's been a goal of mine since 2014, I believe. That was the first cycle. So yeah. I mean, it sounds like it's going to be an exciting experience. Um, yeah. How did um, Nalis, um, um, Nihus, sorry, um, mm -hmm. uh, come come to you and approach you for this? Or you, you oh, we needed to apply first, right. mm -hmm. and then they would shortlist a, a certain amount of candidates, and then they would interview us. Yeah, and after the interview, uh, they will tell us. What, what did they ask you in the interview? Oh, lots of questions. Like, tell me about yourself. <laughs> first cliche <laughs> question. Well, yeah. and, and what did you tell them? I told them that I love astronomy and uh -huh. that's why I'm doing it. Yeah. <laughs> and that's it? That, yeah. That, uh, yeah tell me about yourself. And we have <laughs> one of your colleagues with us as well, uh, who yeah. seems more nervous than me. <laughs> Good morning and welcome. Hi, Keanu. Yeah. Keanu Nichols, uh, thank you for joining us. So we're talking to your colleagues about them getting uh, involved in this NASA internship. So tell me, first of all, what uh, program are you interested in? Um, with respect to UE, yeah. Mean, what are you doing? I'm in there? computer science special. I'm also with Tevin. Tevin, and, oh, yes. so, oh, how exciting! How is it scientist. working with Tevin? First of all, um, it's, it's, it's well. We <laughs> actually have a class together, operating system. Really? Yes. Uh, so, well, why did you decide to get involved in this NASA internship? Um, because I have an interest in going to do my masters, and um, I think this would have been a great opportunity to learn more about doing research mm -hmm. and getting into that kind of field and understanding how to go about doing research. Masters in computer science? Yes. Ah. So, um, mm -hmm. Gabrielle was telling me that, you know, the process was she applied online and then had an interview. Mm -hmm. You know, what were some of the things they asked you in the interview? Um, for the interview, they asked me things like, um, what things have I done? What have you done? Um, well, I've actually <laughs> taken part in um, a number of different competitions online. There's uh -huh. this thing called Kaggle, which is online data science competition mm -hmm. hosted by Google. And I also did an internship called Google Summer Code, um, which is whereby Google is trying to get university students to take part in open source communities. So I took part in that during the summer vacation. Now I feel like an underaccomplished kind of person. <laughs> uh, Devin, what did they ask you? Uh, for me personally, I went in the interview expecting, you know, the basic interview questions like whether you see yourself in five years, etc. And there were those questions, but uh, there was one interviewer in particular. She had some tough questions to ask. For so example. on my application, I spoke about the research work that I did with one of my lecturers. And the first question she asked me when I went into the room was, what do you understand about the Viola-Jones framework? 
So the viral was free. <laughs> so it was uh, it threw me off a bit. So the interview was tough. It was about forty five minutes long. Ooh. So yeah, it was a, a rigorous interview. But you, you were able to come out yeah. successful. Well, yeah, and, and that is the main thing. <laughs> yeah, that is the main thing. Um, when when you go there, what do you expect? What what do you think is going to happen? Well, I hope that we get to work <laughs> with the the brightest minds in the world, really, not just the country, brightest minds in the world, and see state of the art, state of the art technology. And hopefully we get to experience a different mindset, the mindset that mm -hmm. they apply in the states as opposed, and I'll be able to compare it to, you know, the state of mind that we use in Trinidad and Tobago, and hopefully bring that state of mind back here. What is that state of mind? Basically, uh, the way we, we don't really innovate much, you know, we just rather use what exists. I'd like to experience the innovative mindset, you know, being in the heart of Silicon Valley. Yeah. Uh, Gabriel, so you hear him talking about innovation. Mm -hmm. Do you expect to be one of those innovators? Yes, so why not? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think? What, what, what is your interest? Mm -hmm. what, what piques your interest? Mm -hmm. Any, anything in particular piques your interest? Nanotechnology. At this point? Nanotechnology. So my project is nanotechnology in electronics and sensor development. What does that entail? It entails using nanotechnology, so carbon nanotubes. And that's all I can say for now. Oh, yeah. she doesn't want to give too much. Uh, Keanu, for you, what, what piques your interest? Um, I would say machine learning. Machine learning, that's yeah. like artificial intelligence kind of thing? Yeah, you're, <laughs> you're trying to um, teach, well, have, give certain input to a machine and, be, and allow it to be able to learn from that so that if you give it new input, it'll be able to better predict and um, output things. So, for example, we'll be... Kevin and I will be doing deep learning with satellite imagery with respect to flooding. Mm -hmm. So what we'll be looking at is giving a machine learning model a uh, certain input and trying it to be able to determine yeah. where in that mapping the flooding actually took place. Yeah. Flooding. Mm -hmm. Ooh, that's, that's an interesting topic. Yeah. Do you feel intimidated, mm -hmm. Gabriel? Um, before we go, do you feel yeah. intimidated when you're around these guys no, or, or anybody? <laughs> exactly, and, I, <laughs> and I'm glad you said that because, you know, yeah. it, it's really good. You know, we recently... Um, celebrated women here on mm -hmm. TTT and now mm -hmm. uh, we celebrated International Women's Day, International mm -hmm. Women's History Month. And it's really good to see that females in science as well. Yeah, my, my research project, my family research project, I got an A plus in it. I'm <laughs> so happy to say that. I did it with NRA, the National Radio Observatory, yeah, in the United States. Yeah. And it was based on radio, ash, radio telescope. Yeah, radio telescope. Yeah. We were able to see radio galaxies. We were, ev we were even able to see at the center of our Milky Way using this technology. Yeah. Really? Radio, yeah. Radio telescopes. We should be intimidated. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, listen, I'm, it's just three of you here and I'm like, oh goodness, what am I doing standing up here next to these people? W what is your ultimate goal? My ultimate goal, I think, is to help to better the country. I'm not uh, sure specifically how yet, but I think participating in this program, uh, it will help me to learn new research techniques that I can apply to projects within the country, but even more than that, the more this is publicized and you know supported by the country, I think it will encourage upcoming students to excel in their academics and yeah. Yeah, no. Um, my ultimate yes. goal. Well, I know one thing is that I hope to get a research paper out of this. <laughs> Good. But Good. also being able to apply that to Trinidad. Um, actually, I hope that like the stuff that I do at NASA. Um, I actually have a like a kind of blog right now. Um, it's on Google, you just type the name Keanu Nichols, but I hope that um, for new interns that are considering doing a NASA internship, I could give them tips of what they could potentially do mm. for like trying mm. to prepare for the mm -hmm. NASA interview and like what kind of things you could do before so that you can kind of stand out as a potential candidate. Uh, Gabriel, what is your mm. ultimate goal? Your ultimate well, dream? I think they covered everything, but for me in particular, <laughs> I would like to tell everyone that yes, I was a researcher at NASA and my research <laughs> skills have improved <laughs> tremendously and I've worked with such experts in the field like nanotechnology. Yes, like Mia, Mia, Mia Pan. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, and I, I, I'm excited expert. for you guys. Yeah. I mean, this is a great experience and I really hope that when you all come back with your colleagues, because there are three other um, yeah. students who will be going as well, you guys can come on and share the journey with us, share Definitely. some of the things that you've learned Definitely. so that people will know mm -hmm. what our young people are up to because yeah. for far too long, they, people don't pay attention to young people, you know. Mm -hmm. why, 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 why do you think people don't pay attention to us? Why? Well, I don't want to answer that question <laughs> because <laughs> I feel like I'll be bashing the country too much. No, 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 no. Oh, oh so, yeah, so, so he has a reason. He has a reason, but there's no one to tell us. <laughs> uh,
I so think they support us. Yeah. You think so? Yeah. Well, I hope so. <laughs> I, I really do hope that they support us and continue to support us. Yeah. Support us. Let's not say any bad things about the older people <laughs> in, in, in our country. Keanu Nichols, uh, Tevin Achon, Gabriel Motigal, thank you all very much for joining us thank this morning. It was an absolute us. pleasure. Yeah, and nice the invitation is open for you all to come back when you um, return from the NASA internship. Okay, that's nice all to right? be here.